Hey guys, what's going on? Have you ever been interested in having your own countdown timer like the professional TV studios that you may have seen on, well, TV have, right? Well, we're gonna be doing a review on this thing right now, which has the actual date, time, and month calendar kind of thing, as well as the actual seconds that are, you know, slowly going by. I should be going that way, actually. See how it's getting bigger? The white lighter on, on the circumference. Circumference, is that the right word? Uh, it's getting bigger and until it reaches the very end. So we're gonna show you what that does uh, right now. All right, my face is in focus, so I have gotta keep it close to my face. Get ready, happy new year. Ah, there we go. So, going to what we're talking about, you know, television studios, all right? I've had the luxury to be a part of a few different television studios and their productions in the past. Uh, that's probably a story for another day, but you know, I've got the knowledge for my own studio where I do you know, daily videos in this space, right? Talking about absolutely everything, you know, tech reviews, unbox reviews, world news, science, technology, celebrity pop culture news, all that kind of stuff gets talked about here every single day. And I've wanted something like this for my own, uh, for my own studio, all right? Now, if you guys see on the, on, well, I'll zoom in for you guys right now. Uh, next to the teleprompter is the countdown timer. So, picture in picture. So you got the you got the the hours, right? This is 24 hour clock, obviously. You got what 10, 32 at night, okay? And it's 26 seconds into that. So I wanted something for my studio where it would count down the seconds. And I'm going to show you a few different versions of of this, uh, and of course this one as well. Uh, it'll all be linked in the description below. Hopefully, fingers crossed, right? But yeah, that's just a nice little shot of this. Uh, it looks like the election, the 2020 election. So on air, right? Television studios. Boop, boop, boop. <laughs> uh, okay, so there's some of the clocks that you know you can get, and some of these clocks can go for quite a bit of money. I don't have any links for this particular clock, but those are the different LED lights you can get for it, right? Uh, going back to that again, see how it's got this. It's, this one's got the seconds as well as the actual. Uh, the, the countdown of the actual seconds on, on the circumference, right? Uh, mine doesn't have the seconds, but it's not a big deal. It doesn't really bother me too much. Uh, it has basically the time and the seconds through here. So it's actually, you know, zero. Hang on, let me show you. Zero, five, nine, ten. So it's not too hard to work out with my with my one, but here are some other ones, right? Here are some you know, other professional things that you would see in a television studio. You know, the hosts, the producers, everyone involved, the camera people, the, the people in the, in the, in the control room, uh, they need to know exactly what time it is. So when they go live on air, uh, or even, or even not even going live, but you know, to be able to record a segment for a later broadcast, right? It's, it's always important to know how much time you've got left and how much time you've been filming for. And that's what I want to use this for in my in my studio, right? So there's, an, like I said, here's another version of the one that I have. And here's a bunch of other versions, right, that you can get. Uh, we're getting a bit complicated now. There's this and that and this and that, right? But this is the one that I ended up getting. It's like 26 bucks American, all right? Cheapest chips. Now you can get different lighting versions. You can get green, all right? You can also get red. I have obviously got the white version. No, they're not multicolored. They just, you have to pick a different color, right? Green would have been okay-ish, but yeah, I'm glad I went for white. Now also you can go for the actual, the actual clock itself can become white. Is it gonna show me again? There we go. So you can pick different colors of the LEDs, but with the actual white clock face. Now, in my opinion, I don't really like it. It's kind of ugly, but uh, I'm really happy. I ended up getting the black one, and those are the different colors you can get. So, with my little camera eight right now, we're going to show you. Hello, everybody. Hello. So, this is what it looks like in detail, and can we zoom out a little bit more? No, that's as, that's as far out as we can go. So, that's what it looks like on the front. Right here is what it looks like on the back make it a little brighter for you guys look at that so you've got three mode buttons down up and mode all right it has an alarm clock and also has a little little uh watch battery or 
one of those, it's not a watch battery, but it's bigger than a watch battery, but it's kind of like one of them. And that keeps the time in there when, uh, when you turn the power off, it's always going to remember what time it is and the date and all that kind of stuff when you plug the power back in. But yeah, going back to that again, uh, it is powered by electricity. So by taking that out, you're then taking the power out of the whole thing, right? But uh, okay, so let me show you some different settings. Before I do, I'm going to quickly show you the actual uh, piece of paper here. Now look, admittedly, I'm pretty terrible when it comes to alarm clocks. I've never had, in, I've never you know, had an enjoyment experience, experience when it comes to you know, setting the alarm and, and setting the date and the time. And, oh, girl, just thinking about it now, it's just like, fuck. <laughs> Anxiety overload, all those buttons to push in multiple different orders to, to get what you need to do. I'm like, once, usually in the past, what I've been like is once the time is set, I don't touch it, right? You know, God help me when, when uh, daylight savings happens because then I have to, you know, go two hours or one hour. Or, ugh, it's just confusing. But I've, I, I have, it, at the moment, it is cycling through the time, the temperature and the month and the day. So that's the month. It's 23 degrees uh, Celsius right now you can change Fahrenheit and you, of course you can change 24 hour time but going back in a second it will show you the month which is the 10th month and the first day come on show me there we go the 10th month and the first day of the 10th month uh, October wow Christmas is so close guys but by the time you're watching this it's probably well past Christmas because these videos only get watched down the track right am I right so anyway going back to this now now by pushing the different, by pushing the down mode button, I can, I can go brightness. And that's the most bright that it will actually go to. So by showing you from here, that's as, that's as bright as it will go right now. Uh, we want to change that again. That's completely off. I don't know why you'd want to have that button, but you can. Uh, that's the lowest you can go. Hang on. Lowest medium high hello Konnichiwa. uh we can also go to what does that one do all right so these three modes allow you to have the this one number one allows the time and then it cycles through to the to the month and the day and then it cycles through to the temperature is it going to do it for me now there we go there's the month and the day and the temperature and that's just going to go back to the time again. So by pushing the up button, I can then change the different individual settings, which uh, number two does something else. And number three, for example, only ever shows me the time, which is probably the right setting that I will be doing because I, I don't want it flicking past the month and the day and, and the temperature while I'm in the studio trying to find out how long I've been doing a video for kind of thing. So I might just go back to number one. All right, I think that's pretty good. Now, by holding the down button right here, we can change 24-hour clock, right? I'm pretty sure we can at some point. Hang on. Easier said than done, everybody. <laughs> I fucking hate these clocks. <laughs> can someone help me program this thing? But anyway, so there we go. Back to that again. We're doing 12 hours. Or if we'll, of course, we can go to 24 hours by using the up and down buttons. Uh, whoops, what do we do? We don't change the time now, do we? So, uh, yeah, oh, we're going back and up and down. <laughs> oh, man. Mind you, I am looking at my teleprompter monitor, which has given me a mirror image. And then I'm looking back here, and it's, it's just confusing the hell out of me. But look, there we go. Look, one, one other thing that I can show you without going to do too much detail, because... You know, fuck too much detail when it comes to these things. This actually has a little uh, base that it can sit on. So you can actually, you know, have this thing. So it's it's sitting on its little base right now. And therefore, it can easily sit down anywhere. But of course, it does have, it does have a actual uh, wall hook. So you can actually hang these things on the ceiling somewhere. So yeah, uh, I don't think this will be something that you guys can see, but it will be something that I see every video that I make kind of thing. It'll be, you know, pretty much in front of me, I'm guessing. That's where it's gonna be, so I, I, I can basically say yes, it's it's uh, 
you know, Gareth, hurry the fuck up, you're too late. <laughs> the viewers don't want to see you for this long. Hurry, Gareth, hurry. <laughs> All right, guys, stop for a second. Quick update. I have actually just put it on the wall in front of me right now. Obviously, this video will be edited, but I want to show you what it looks like. And that's what it looks like right there. It goes right between my two cameras and the teleprompter. And I can stand here and know how much time I have left. And I think that's absolutely incredible. Get ready. It's about to go to 15. And there we have it, everybody. 15. I think that looks really really incredible uh going back to my normal video in a second with it still on the table but yeah i just had to show you an update of where it was and uh yeah that's what it looks like all right boom hope you guys like that back to normal viewing but anyway the clock's completely strange now i've got to go back and to fix that Thanks, mate. <laughs> if you guys I found if find this interesting at all, uh, like I said, I will be most likely putting this in the description below in my YouTube video or on Facebook kind of thing. I hope you guys like the video. We're on two different YouTube channels. Channel 2, which we're on right now. Daily videos on there. Of course, guys, we are on Tall Boy Gareth Channel 1, where we make travel films all around the world. Again, Tall Boy Gareth, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook. Uh, I've been Tall. My name's Gareth. And I hope you guys like this video. Happy New Year! Yes, it did it! It did it! Cheers, bye.